last year um, and I think uh, you finished a few batches. How has the experience uh, been? The experience has been amazing. Um, we have, we've done three batches. We're now taking applications for a batch four in India. Um, I would say that, you know, out of all the accelerators that we started, we started one in Tel Aviv, one in Bangalore, one in Beijing, one in Seattle. Um, in the last year, we've had 120 companies go through our program. Uh, we've had eight acquisitions. 85% um, of the companies that leave our accelerator get funded, which is amazing. And the last thing is 35% uh, have now hit their Series A. So these numbers are quite staggering when you think about um, you know, the access to funding and what it actually takes to build a business. Um, I think our, our team is, is doing really good work, but I think more importantly, the entrepreneurs are, are just getting better and better. So. Some people are critical about the startup space, particularly e-commerce, because they believe that you know there could be a bubble on the horizon. Looking at the pace in which companies are getting funded, do you subscribe to that view? And are you also cynical about the e-commerce space in particular? I'm not cynical about any space where there's a problem to be solved. Um, I'm a be I'm a believer that you know you should you should really not not listen to the people around you or the naysayers, really focus on the problem and understand the problem first and how big the market is, and then not worry about what, what the naysayers say to you. I think, uh, I think that's, that's what makes entrepreneurs entrepreneurs. They don't really listen, they go out and just do. So, right. yeah. And um, within India, lastly, which segment do you see a lot of opportunity in for startups, for product companies, any particular segment where they can see more traction than the other? Well, you know, uh, what's interesting is in India, uh, healthcare seems to be very popular because maybe the regulations in India are different than they are in the U.S. So healthcare is interesting, but I think for me, I would love to see disruption in education and in transportation. I think I think education is a space that needs major disruption. I think that there's there's there, there's many people in India that are uh, that need education and and that are. Um, uh, that need access to it and, and maybe aren't able to afford it, right? And I think that that the approach in India needs to change um, in regards to education. So I would love to see education disrupted in a big way. To watch more, subscribe to youtube.com/slash/etnowflight.